year, the math fee. Um, this year we're doing things a little bit different because the situation that we're in. So I will have my math here. I have Miss Sarah and Mr. Prasad in the room and all the students are in different rooms throughout the school. The math fee, as many of you know, is a red and blue competition where one student of each color competes per grade and solves challenging math questions. This means two students per grade from one to eighth grade, and that means a total of 16 students. I'm going to introduce the students for each grade so that you know who's participating this year. For the first grade, we have Ethan and Aviva. For second grade, we have Artemio and Cooper. For third grade, we have Kalia and Matehan. For fourth grade, we have Danny and Haley. Fifth grade, we have David and Chase. Seventh grade, we have Mason and Nia. And sixth, uh, sorry, I skipped sixth grade. Sixth grade is Valentina and Sabella. Seventh grade is Mason and Nia. Eighth grade is Amalia and Alexandra. There are some reminders that I want to have and some things that are a little bit new. Um, number one, there will be two rounds of questions. A third round will take place in case that we need a tiebreaker. Typically, we have all the consistent contestants in person in the auditorium, but this year we're going to have them separate. So we're going to pin the student that's answering the question so that you can see what their answer is. Uh, to the audience, please remember to remain silent if you have a contestant near you so that they can hear the answer and also so that they can think clearly because otherwise they might get a little bit confused. To the contestants, you should have a piece of craft paper, you, have, you should have a pencil, a small whiteboard, a marker, a piece of tissue to erase the work that you show on the whiteboard. If you are missing any of those, please let one of your teachers know so that they can give that to you now. I'm sure all of you already have it. Um, also, each question will be presented and I will read it out loud to you. You will then have one minute from the moment that I finish reading the question. You, have, you can do your work on the scrap paper and then show the final answer in your whiteboard using the marker. Please remember to include your units because if you don't have the units, it is not a full correct answer and it will be marked incorrectly. I will give you 10 seconds. Really, Mr. Prasad is going to give you 10 seconds. He's sitting not too far from me. He's sitting six feet away from me. Um, and you can hear him. He is very loud. So you'll know it's 10 seconds. <laughs> At the end of that time, um, I will say time, and you will pick up your whiteboard and show your final answer. We'll, we're going to call the order every time. We're going to start with red, and then we'll go to blue. Red, blue, red, blue, every time. Um, remember to keep your camera on and your mic on when you're when it's time for you to answer the question. Your camera should be on at all times. But when it's time for you to answer the question, you put the mic on and the teachers will help you if you need, um, if that's necessary. If you haven't done already, done this already, please write red or blue at the top of your whiteboard like that when we see, we'll make sure that it, you know, you're representing red or representing blue. Um, please show two thumbs up and a smile if you're ready to start, otherwise we can't start. So we need two thumbs up. You see everyone, is that everyone? Yes. All right, let's do it. Okay, we're going to start with first grade. First grade round one. What number will complete the number bond? What number will complete the number bond? You have one minute. Don't show it yet. Wait until I tell you to show it, to show it. 
Thank you. <laughs> Ten seconds. Time. All right. We're going to start with Aviva first. Aviva, can you show us your answer? Okay. Aviva has 12. Thank you. You can put it down and erase it. Ethan, can you show us your answer? Ethan also has 12. The correct answer is 12. Very good. Let's go to second grade, round one. Count by tens. Blank, 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 400, blank. You have one minute. Ten seconds. Five. All right, we will start with Cooper. Cooper, can you show us your answer, please? Cooper has 370, 390, 400. Oh, yeah, okay, very good. You can put it down, thank you, Cooper. Artemius, can you show us your answer? All right, the correct answer is 370, 380, 390, and 410. Excellent. Next one, third grade. Compare 4,001 and 3,999. What place value did you use to show 4,001 is greater than 3,999? You have one minute. Ten seconds. Time. Okay. We're going to start with Matehan first. Matehan, can you show us your answer? He has thousands, okay. And Kalia, can you show us your answer? I use the thousands place. Um, can you show us with a four? We're going to start with Matehan first. Hold on, Matehan, can you tell us your answer? Thank you, Kalia. Please, very good. We're doing very well over here. Okay, fourth round, uh, fourth grade. Make the greatest five digit number using two digits that are the same and three other digits that are all different. You have one minute.
Ten seconds. Time. Okay. Let's start with Haley. Haley, can you show us your answer, please? 99876, very good. Oops. Sorry, went too fast, went too fast. And Danny, Danny, can you show us your answer? 99876, okay. That is the correct answer. Fifth grade, find the value of the following expression. 50 minus parentheses, 13 minus parentheses, 8 plus 3, close parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses, divided by 4. Ten seconds. Time. Okay, let's start with Chase. Chase, can you show us your answer, please? Okay, your answer is nine. And David, can you show us your answer? Your answer is 16. The correct answer is 12. Let's go to sixth grade. The lowest elevation in the United States is in Death Valley, California at 275 feet, 79 feet below sea level. The highest elevation is Mount McKinley, Alaska at 20,237 feet above sea level. What is the difference in elevations of these two locations? Must include units in your answer. You have one minute. Ten seconds. Time. Isabella, please show us your answer. You have 20,516 feet. Thank you. And Valentina, show us your answer. 20,516. That is the correct answer, very good. Seventh grade, solve the equation shown below. 4n minus 12 minus 7m equals negative six minus three parentheses m plus three parentheses. You have one minute. Ten seconds.
Time. Okay. Nia, can you show us your answer, please? Nia, we need to see the answer right now. Okay. Ten, okay. And Mason, can you show us your answer? No solution? That is correct, no solution. Eighth grade, solve the system of equations by using substitution. X equals four Y minus two and 2x plus y equals 32. You have one minute. Ten seconds. Time. All right. Let's start with Alexandra. Please show us your answer. Oh, nothing. Okay. And Amalia, please show us your answer. Little up, move it up a little bit. Four and what's the other one? Okay. The correct answer is X equals 14 and Y equals four. We're going to round two. Now, round two questions are worth double the points, so two points each. First grade, count back by tens from 70. What number comes next? 70, 60, 50, and blank. You have one minute. Ten seconds. Time. Aviva, can you show us your answer, please? Forty. Thank you. And Ethan, can you show us your answer? Also forty. Very good. Those are correct. Second grade. Sue has 42 books. Jill gave her 18 more books. How many books does Sue have now? Draw a bar model to solve. Write your answer below the question mark. You have one minute. Artemios, make sure your camera's on, please. Thank you. Ten seconds. Um. All right, 
for uh, Cooper. Can you show us your answer, please? Okay, thank you. And Artemios, can you show us your answer? We, can, we don't see a video, Artemio. Can somebody put on the mic so that we can speak? Oh, oh. Wait, come back, come back. Right. We see it. Right, we see him now. Can you show us the board again? Yeah. The, oh. Go back to Cooper's camera. Okay. Okay, correct. Okay. So the correct answer is 60. Third grade, a store sells 3,000 cookies. 711 of them are sugar cookies. How many cookies are not sugar cookies? Remember to label your answer. You have one minute. Ten seconds. Five. Okay, Metehan, can you show us your answer, please? One thousand two hundred eighty-nine. Okay, thank you. And Kalia, can you show us your answer? Back up a little bit so we can see it. Okay, 2289. The correct answer is 2,289 cookies. Fourth grade, list all the prime numbers between 60 and 71. I'm sorry, 60 and 70. You have one minute. Ten seconds. Time. Haley, can you show us your answer, please? We have sixty-nine. Okay. And Danny, can you show us your answer? Sixty-one and sixty-seven is correct. Fifth grade, Mr. Jacob is 55 year, years old and Tony is seven years old. In how many years will Mr. Jacob be four times as old as Tony? Must include units in your answer. You have one minute.
Ten seconds. Time. Let's start with Chase. Chase, can you show us your answer, please? Blank. Okay. David, can you show us your answer? Also blank. The correct answer is nine years. Sixth grade, find the value, the value of the following expression. I'm not going to read it. Just look at the expression. You have one minute. Ten seconds. Time. Isabella, can you show us your answer, please? Negative two. Thank you. And Valentina, can you show us your answer? Negative thirty. The correct answer is negative two. Seventh grade. Three consecutive even integers have a sum of 342. Find the largest integer. You have one minute. Ten seconds. Time. Nia, can you show us your answer, please? One twelve. And Mason, can you show us your answer? 116, 116 is correct. Eighth grade, solve the system of equations. W equals negative two, W plus Y equals negative three, three X plus Y equals negative one, negative Z plus W plus X equals one. You have two minutes to solve this problem.
Ten seconds. Time. Okay, Alexandra, can you show us what you have? W equals negative two, then Y equals negative one, so X equals zero, and Z equals three, okay. Uh, Malia, can you show us what you have? W equals zero, Z is negative one, W, W equals two, okay. Yeah, they're both incorrect. The correct answer is W is negative two, X is zero, Y is negative one, and Z is negative three. That concludes round two. I'm going to hear from the judges very soon, and then we'll know if we have a winner or if we need to run the tiebreaker. So stay tuned. No tiebreaker. No tiebreaker. Okay, we do have a winner. In second place, so this is second place. This color is second place for the second. Okay, so red wins second place. And blue is going to win first place. Congratulations to all the participants. Thank you for coming. I hope that you have fun. And I hope that a lot of the students got all the answers that we maybe didn't have over here. Um, have a fantastic weekend. I know we're all on Monday, so that's very exciting. And Ms. Sarah and I are going, coming around to give the trophies to every participant. Have a great weekend.